Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Happy 2019. Today, we're going to make this little mural piece uh, with a heart. I figured we'd do heart because Valentine's Day is coming up. And what we're doing, this is using a crochet stitch. You're using your hook only. You're going to use our crochet stitch that we use for Lumigurumi and your loom bands. So you're not using yarn or anything like that. And we're going to we're going to make this little piece today. Some of the things that you can do with this type of looming are make things like bracelets. Now, this is a little one I made for a friend of mine and we've done rainbow colors and I did a little heart on the front here for, for Valentine's Day and I put a button closure on the back here. Uh, you can make little koozie covers. I've made a, a little water bottle koozie cover here and uh, just so that you can get a good grip of it or you can tell whose is who. You never want your kid to be taking a swig out of somebody else's water bottle. Um, I've stitched these up at the back um, I made the baby toy block out of this we've got the A the B the C and the D and then we've got a little love heart on the on the top you can and, and this I guess would be Lumigurumi because you you've got a stuffed little toy whereas this is more just crocheting um, so it's a little bit different now the thing is we're not using yarn we're just using the, the loom bands it is a little bit different from using the you know doing your murals using uh, your looms, um, so be be prepared for that. Um, it does mean that all those beautiful bracelets that you find, those patterns that you find on places like bracelet.book.com, you're going to be able to follow those, and you'll be able to make all the little different patterns that we can do on that. So we're going to get started. As I said, just a hook. You are going to need a stitch marker of sorts. I like these particular ones. You could use a safety pin. You can use a bobby pin, whatever. We're going to start. I'm going to do two colors. I'm going to use um, pink and I'm going to do white for the heart. And you're going to start by doing a little end cap with a pink band. And you're going to chain 17. Okay. So I'm just doing normal chaining like this. Now you will cut the end cap off but not until the end because you don't want your work to unravel okay so just normal pushing your chain putting your band on the end of your hook and chaining through like this for the count of 17 17 just because that's what I picked for this particular little heart um, you can make it taller you can make it wider it's completely up to you uh, the dimensions that you choose. You could make a coaster out of it. You could make it longer, make it longer than 17 and uh, have it go around your your um, your bottle or, or a soda can uh, or anything like that. Uh, and all you would do is basically measure when you when you're doing your, your initial chain that we've just done here. Um, take your water bottle or soda can or whatever you're doing and wrap it around and, and spread it out so that you can see if it was stretched would it fit so you would need a little bit more and I, I have to count we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven thirty thirty one thirty two thirty we've got like thirty four 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 thirty this is our 17th stitch. This second stitch away from our hook is our 16th stitch. And this stitch here, the third stitch from our hook, is our 15th stitch. We are going to go, we're going to take the end of our hook and we want to go into that 15th stitch. Okay? And we are going to do a single crochet. So pull your band through that 15th stitch. Okay? And you're going to not let go you're going to take this end and pull it through the two that are still on your hook and reclaim okay and go one over the other that's your first single crochet we're now going to crochet all the way down so that was one in each stitch we're doing a single crochet two three four Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to oil my bands, they're feeling a bit crunchy. Eleven. 12, 13, and we're going to stop on 14, okay, so that's 14 in total down here. This is our 15th stitch, you see, this is our little end cap, these three little loops, we're not going to worry about that. This is our last stitch, and in our last stitch we're going to do an increase. So we're going to do one single crochet, whoopsie, come back one single crochet and then we're doing a second single crochet in that same stitch not in the end cap and you're going to put your stitch marker onto that now the trick with doing this particular style okay to, to stop it from being if you were doing it it was it would be like a parallelogram it would go you know the, the stitches would come this way and we'd go this way okay we don't want that we want to go straight up so the trick is where you finish your first row, okay, in a in an increase with two single crochets in that same stitch, in the next row we're going to stop from this side. We're not going to turn our work and go back the other way. We're going to stop. We're going back to this front stitch at the beginning, this one here, okay, and we're going to do an increase. So we did an increase here. We're going to do an increase in the front, okay. So we're going one and two in that same first stitch we are not because we've started with an increase on this let me get that right it's not sitting nicely there we go so we started this row with an increase which means we finish this row this this second row without an increase we're alternating okay so we start with an increase here we finish with a single if we start with a single we finish with an increase so we've started with an increase in this second 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 stitch for our particular design we're just going to do six six in pink and then one in white okay so we're doing six single crochets, we'll do one, now we did this, this first two, so that's effectively eight, but one, two, three, four, five, six so we've got our increase in the first stitch which is two bands then we have six single crochets so our next color is white and because we're doing crochet stitches we need to do a slip stitch because we're changing color so you're going to go through the stitch and add that pink loop to it and join and one over the other now we're going back to pink and we have eight pink stitches to do but again we have to change color so you go into your next stitch and we're get, again going to do a slip stitch because we're changing color okay like so and then we're going all the way to the end with single crochets now we started with an increase so we don't finish on an increase we finish with a single crochet so all the way down to the end here which is eight stitches here's our last one okay now what we're going to do we've got one two three four five six seven and this is eight we're going to turn your work pinch it you're going to take this stitch that's on this stitch marker put your hook through it okay grab the end of that and pull it through like so okay 
take your stitch marker off and pop it on there all right like that okay then you go back to the beginning again okay so here's our beginning now we started with a, with a, an increase and we finished without an increase so this round we start with an increase okay so I've been a bit nice to you guys I've written it all out here as, we, as we're going through this so we've just done our increase at the beginning this is row three our increase at the beginning we did six pink one white and we did eight pink so we're moving on to the next row remember we we just attached it to here we're starting our next row now we finished with a single we started round three or row three with an increase so we finished without an increase so this time we're not increasing at the beginning but we're increasing at the end for row four okay so our first stitch is going to go in here and we literally have seven of our pink bands to do single crochet so here's number one okay two three four five six and seven is our last one in pink now we're doing two in white now we're changing color so we have to do a slip stitch so go into your next stitch which is this pink one and we're doing a slip stitch okay one over the other and move then we're doing in this next one you can see we did a slip stitch to get into this so you miss the first part that's angled down and you go into the actual stitch which is here with your second white and do a regular single crochet now we have to slip stitch back into pink so there's our two white we're slip stitching back into pink and we've got six pink to do skip the little bit that's at the angle go into the real stitch okay we're doing a slip stitch to change color and then continue so that was one two three four five this is six and we have to finish we didn't start with a with an increase so we have to finish with an increase so in this last stitch here we're going to do two stitches one and two turn your work and pinch this okay so you've got that little loop here you're going to take the end put your hook through that loop that is on your stitch marker add the one that you've just finished with one over the other and put your stitch marker on that new stitch there and we're ready to start our next round which is row five so get your bands ready and we'll start for row five so for our round five or row five we're going to go back to the beginning so we've attached our last stitch here and moved the one from the row before up got our stitch marker on go to the front again here's our first stitch and we start with an increase because we finished with an increase so start with an increase so one and two we're going to do five in pink five single crochets if I can get my hook working sorry I, I was interrupted I had to run and put my groceries away one two three 
four and five. Now you're going to go into this stitch, the last pink one here, and you're going to do your first white. It's a slip stitch because we're changing colors. So there's one. Now here's the, the slip stitch we did in the row before. So you've got your little white bit coming down here at an angle. This is the actual stitch. So here's our second single crochet in white and then do your third single crochet in white and then we have to slip stitch to get back into pink. You can have a look here on this side. This is where it's going to start looking like it's supposed to. So again, you're going to miss the slip stitch, go into the real stitch and we're into pink. We've got seven pink but we have to do a slip stitch first okay and then we have six more to do so this is two that's three four five six and here's our last stitch we're not increasing because we increased at the beginning so that is seven again you're going to turn your work pinch this put your hook through the stitch that you have with your stitch marker that you're holding here on your stitch marker put your hook through that okay add the stitch for our ended row and one over the other and move your stitch marker to that stitch and again we're going to go back to the beginning now the beginning the way you face it how do you know that it's not this is the beginning because that's where you finish that's where your stitch marker is plus this is looking good whereas this is looking messy all right so you're always going to start here and we're always starting over here so row six let's see what we've got to do oh my computer is talking to me row six let's see we have six pink four white and five pink let's get that ready one two three four five six four white one two three four and five pink one two three four five and we finish on an increase so I've got my two here for an increase so let's go back to our first stitch here we are first stitch we're doing five single or uh, six I'm sorry six single crochets minus the cat hair and we're on row six so let's do six single crochets one two three Four, five, and six. Now we've got to do a slip stitch to change into our first white. We're doing four whites, so a slip stitch to white. Here's our slip stitch from our previous row. So skip the little bit that's angled and go into the real stitch for our second white band, single crochet third single crochet fourth single crochet but see how this pulls across and that's how it's beginning to show all right we have a slip stitch here so we're missing this little bit that's at an angle and going into the real stitch we have five of pink but we've got to do a slip stitch first to change color so slip stitch change your color and then two three excuse me can you stop digging on the paper thank you four and five and we have to finish on an increase so into this last stitch here and we're going to do a single crochet oops let's make sure that I'm actually in the right stitch and not collecting bands from the row before come here there we go so one and then back through that same stitch 
and two. Pinch it, turn your work. You're grabbing the loop that's being held by your stitch marker. Pop the loop that you just finished, one over the other, and move your stitch marker. So our next round is round seven, and we're going to start with an increase. So I have my bands ready. I've got one and two in that first stitch. Then we're doing four in pink. So one. three and four then we're doing five in white but again we've got to go into this pink stitch and do our first slip stitch because we're changing color there we are so that's one and now if you look at that one we have to go into this part here because the other part is the slip stitch from the previous round or previous row two three stitches five and then back to pink but we have to do a slip stitch we're doing six in pink so slip stitch for the first one that's one two three four Is our last stitch here. We're not finishing on an increase because we started on an increase. Hold your little loop, grab the loop from the previous row which your stitch marker is holding, pop it on your hook, pop the new loop on one over the other and put your stitch marker on your new loop. Back to the beginning. Okay, now we're on row eight. So let's move this down. We have no increase, five pink, six white, four pink, and then an increase. So starting at the beginning, as I said, no increase, because our last row, you can see there's two stitches in there. So we just do our pink, five, so there's one, two, Three, four, and five. Into the last pink here, we're doing our six white, so we have to do a slip stitch to change color. Skip this little slip stitch here and go into your real stitch for your six white. It's two. Three, four, five, and six. Then we have four in pink. We've got to do a slip stitch to change colour. So skip that little bit that's at an angle and go into your real stitch. We're doing a slip stitch. And then two, three, four. In this last stitch, we're doing our increase. Okay, so one and Two. Turn your work, pinch this little this little last stitch, grab the last stitch from your previous row, pop it on your hook, grab your new stitch, one over the other, and move your stitch marker. Starting to form. Alright, our next round, or row, I shouldn't call it a round really, should I? 
it's not a round it's a row we're not going round is number nine I'm trying to make it so you can see which we start with an increase we have three pink seven white and five um, pink again so let's go to the beginning we have to start with an increase so that's two in the first stitch one and two and you can see what I'm talking about how the alternation happens then we do three single crochets make sure you go through both loops so one two and three we have seven white so go into this first stitch that's pink we have to do a slip stitch oopsie a little bit ambitious there pulled through the white a little too far there we go this is the slip stitch and this is the real stitch we've got seven to do so this is two three <laughs> now the cats are playing four five six this is the last one seven then we have five pink so we've got slip stitch this is our real stitch and we have five to do so do your slip stitch to change color one <laughs> Two, three, four, and our last one, five. Oopsie. Five. Hold that stitch. Grab your stitch from your last row. Pop it on your hook. Pop your new stitch on and one over the other and move your stitch marker. All right, we're on row 10. How it's looking? Pretty good, huh? Row 10, we're doing no increase at the beginning. We've got five pink, so one, two, three, four, five, six white. One, two, three, four, five, and six, four pink, and an increase at the end. All right, so back to the beginning we go. Go through this first stitch, no increase, we're just doing five in pink. So one, two, three, four, through this last pink with pink, five. We're colour changing now, so skip this little slip stitch. We're going into the real stitch and we're doing a colour change. So you have to do a slip stitch again. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. five and this is our last one six we have to color change we're going into this white so do a color change which is a slip stitch into the next stitch miss that slip stitch here and go into the real stitch this is two three and this is four and then in our last stitch here we do our increase two stitches in the same stitch hold your loop pick up your loop loop from your previous row add your new loop one over the other and move your stitch marker to it okay here we go back to the beginning row 11 and we are starting here with an increase so that's two in pink 
and then we've got three in pink and we've got seven in white one two three four five six seven and five in pink one two three four and five so we're starting with an increase in this first stitch so two in the same stitch then we've got three in pink so there's one two three now we have to do seven in white so go through this pink and we're doing a slip stitch to change color we have to do a slip um, ignore this slip stitch here and go into the real stitch we're just doing single crochet with our white then we're going to slip stitch into pink again so skip that slip stitch go into our real stitch and we've got five to do so there's our slip stitch and then two three four and five we do not finish on an increase because we started on an increase turn your work grab your previous loop add your new loop one over the other and move your stitch marker our next row is row 12 which is 5 in pink 6 in white so 3 4 5 6 four and then an increase so do not start with an increase so one two three four five miss your slip stitch we're changing color so we do have to do a slip stitch one two three four five We're slip stitching into this white with pink to change color. Skip that slip stitch and go into the real stitch. Two. Three. Four. And finish on an increase in this last stitch. one and two turn your work hold the little loop grab the previous loop add your loop one over the other and add your stitch marker to your new loop here we go now you might find it's curling up or it's puckering up once you've actually finished and you can stretch it out a little bit it does start to settle down as you can see it's really relaxed into its shape so don't fret too much if it kind of looks a bit wonky at the minute you'll be able to sort of stretch it into shape all right so row 13 we are looking at an increase to start so that's two then we're doing four now look it's a bit fancy footwork here four in pink two in white one 
now have I written why did I not write seven I'm not sure I'm going to put six there and we'll see what happens three four five six we might just need to do seven I'm and, and just add that one into that really not sure we'll, we'll check out what on earth I've done here so two in this first one for an increase so one and two then we have one two three four skip the slip stitch go into this we're changing color to white so slip stitch into white whoops come back here one and in the second one two we're going into this first one here with a slip stitch haha <laughs> I know what I've done okay and then we have two we need to add two into the middle here let me do that two we need two in there of white again so slip stitch one and two into the white we're going to slip stitch because we're changing color there we go one Two, three, four, five, and the last stitch, six. Silly me, I missed out the two. Grab your previous loop, add your new loop, one over the other. And change your stitch marker. See how it's beginning to look? Hi cats, you've come to play here, have you? That's nice. Now, this row, we're doing 15 in pink. So we don't have to change colour. But we are doing an increase at the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 2 for the increase. So let's go in here, and we're doing 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Now we're just doing the same colour so there's no slip stitches that we have to add but we do have to be mindful of the ones that we have here okay so go into do not go into this one go into the real stitch here all right so mind your little slip stitches you can look here see this one's going at an angle but this is the real stitch Likewise again, this one's going at an angle, but this is the real stitch. One, two, another slip stitch here. This is the slip stitch, this is the real one. Go into the real one. And in our last stitch, oopsie, this last stitch, we're doing an increase. One and two. Hold your little loop, grab your previous loop, one over the other, and add your stitch marker. 
Okay, we have one more round, one more row. We start with an increase and we do 15. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and one more, fifteen. So we start with an increase. In this first stitch, one and two, and we go all the way to the end of our work with single crochets, just in pink. You don't have to worry about any slip stitches because we all we did all the same colour in the previous row, so you're not uh, trying to avoid stitches that are going at an angle. And as I said, when I did the rainbow one, I did the, it exactly the same pattern for the for the heart. The only thing that I changed were every two rows, instead of just pink, 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 I swapped it up between the rainbow colours. Okay, so I'm getting to my last stitch here. You're going to take that loop one over the other. You can take your stitch marker off. Now we, we're done. This is this is it. Okay, that's our little mural, as you can see. Now you can just tie off as you would normally. On the end here, you can do what I did with this one, which is put a border around it, which could look quite sweet. And if you were to do that, all you do is go in, keeping your loop on here, you just go in and you do a slip stitch and work your way all the way around, just doing single crochets. Now, if you have a look, I'm actually doing the single crochet in the opposite way okay you probably don't want to do that and let me show you do you see how the stitch the teardrop is starting smaller here and more rounded at this way whereas here it's smaller here and more rounded here you probably want that to look the same otherwise it's going to look odd so what we should do is put your loop back on start this way okay and go down slip stitch and this is the way we'll we'll do it and I know it's the opposite way on here but it will look better at the top of your work now this side is easy because this is the side that we started on the side that's going to look messy is the side that we went up with with our stitch to stitch it in but it doesn't matter because you'll be able to just find each row and pretty it up now you don't have to do this this is just if you want to pretty it up it's up to you completely and if you look um no i did i did do both sides on my other one but you can use bracelet.book.com and actually uh, take pictures and make them into this. Now, that I will say, you are not... Oh, here we go, look. See, this is the little end cap that we can snip off now. We don't need that. So let's take our scissors. With bracelet.com, you're not going to be doing the alpha patterns any longer. You need to use the normal pattern, okay? So we're going in here. Now, on corners, I tend to like to do three stitches in the corner. So you've got one this side, one this side, and kind of one in the middle. You're going to basically make your way around how you see fit because it's not really defined. So you could maybe go through here for the second one. 
and then here for the third one like that okay and then keep going round so you just sort of want one this side one this side and once in the middle that you sort of force the issue into so that it looks better I just think this kind of pretties up the edges a little bit but as I said you don't have to I think it looks perfectly fine without it it's up to you personal preference and as I mentioned you could make these longer um, you could make them wider you, I mean really the sky's the limit as far as how big you want these to make and what kind of pattern you're following um, you have to be mindful of the fact that your band th the tail end of your band follows over to the next um, area we might do a couple of different ones to show you how to follow a pattern from bracelet.com uh, that might be a good idea to show to do together so in a corner here I'm going to do an extra one for the corner and then go into this side now this side is the tricky side because this is the side we did where we worked up we laced our way up so we're going to just basically go through where you see you've got the lines going here we're going in between them like so and in between so you're forcing your way into a stitch really sky's a limit with what you can do with this really it kind of opens up a a different uh, way of doing murals a different way of doing some larger bracelets or bracers even you know the uh, where it's not really a bracelet we're coming up to a corner so again we want to do one this side one for the middle of the corner and then one for the other side wow, this last stretch home yay and I'm sorry my tummy is rumbling it's lunchtime here it's actually 1.30 and I haven't had lunch so Some, I don't know, some of you might know, some of you might not know. I had um, surgery in, over the summer uh, on my intestines. And uh, it's funny, my stomach talks at the most inopportune times. Like, you know, you'll, you'll be just about to talk to somebody. It's dead silent in the room and my stomach... And I noticed uh, I'm doing these videos and suddenly my stomach is talking. So if you if you hear that... That's probably because of my operation that I had. And not to worry, everything is fine. I'm all I'm all good. I'm all healed up. I'm healthy. Nearly at the end here. Dimensions of these things are completely up to you. So we're going to go in the corner, I'm doing one this side. I'm going to do one in the middle, so I'm going to just force my way through here. And I've already got one here, but as you can see, I've got my little colour change, so I'm going to go through here. Now, I want this to look pretty, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold that. I'm going to go through one side of that band, grab this, and go through the other side, so it's sort of in the middle there I'm going to go through like so tie off tightly and I'm going to pull that back through so 
so that they can't really see where I tied off. And I'm going to hide that tie off band this side of the work, which is the uglier side. like that okay as I said the bands will relax after you've been pulling and shoving them around a little bit they kind of get a bit stressed and stretched out but there we go this is our little mural it's how we're going to be able to make pictures and whatnot that's just the little heart as I said you can do things like this or you can follow bracelet.com, book.com, make your A, B, C's and D's. Uh, there's other little um, designs you can do. Sky's the limit. I cannot wait to see what you guys make. Please, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up, like and subscribe and you'll find out when I do more work. Take care, everyone. Happy 2019. Bye.